All right, moving on to step number six, deploying this application on Heroku. This does require for you to have a Heroku account, so please make sure to create one. Let's get started. One thing that I want you to keep in mind is that we do not have the .env file that contains the API key. So how are we gonna make an API call if we do not have that file here? So I want you to keep that in mind as we move forward here. All right, let's go over to Heroku. And we're going to log in. All right, and you should see a screen that looks like this. You're going to click on new, create new app, and we're going to give our application a name. You want to start it off with the first two letters of your first name and the first two letters of your last name. You're going to put them together like this, and then you're going to name your app. So I'm going to call it YouTube to mp3 converter right I'm gonna click on create app and once we're here we're gonna select this github connect to github and mine is already connected to github because I already have an account with Heroku I do not remember if I had to connect to it but I'm sure that I did the very first time that I did this so yours might look a little bit different make sure to connect to your github and then you can move on to this step Right in here in repo name, we're going to give this the same name that we gave the repository, which is YouTube to MP3 converter for me. All right here, I have it. I'm going to click search and it's going to search on GitHub to see if it finds it. And it did. It's right here. So we're going to click connect. And before we deploy here, we want to go to settings and we're going to click reveal config bars and this is where we're going to add our api key and the host key as well and here we're going to type in the name of the variable that we gave our api key which was api underscore key All right now we're going to have to add the api key in here let's go back to our project into our dot env and we're going to copy the api key from here All right we're going to paste it in here we're going to click add and this is going to be the api host so let's select this here and we're gonna paste it in here all right let's click add and now we can go back to deploy and we can select deploy branch and now it's going to compile everything and it's going to create a url for our application all right let's give it a couple seconds build succeeded and it should give us a button here for us to press this here click it view and this is going to be your new url for your application All right so if we click convert of course it's going to give us that error and let's just test it out i actually already have a couple ids that come up here when i click that so i'm gonna click convert and there we go it's converting these video ids into an mp3 and of course we can download them and we have up to 200 requests a day so you can download up to 200 songs a day all right that's going to be it for this series please make sure to hit the like button and if you have social media i would really appreciate it if you would share it with your followers a video like this takes a lot of work to make as you can see there's a whole lot that goes into a full stack application like this one so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you very much for watching